you, fellas. There's something awful strange about our new teacher, Miss Switch. Caruso, Hector, Guinevere, pay attention. From the very first day of school, on the way there, with my buddies Banana and Peat Mouse, we wondered what she'd be like. She'll be yucky, like all the others. Yeah, they're all the same. How can you talk that way? Well, if it isn't Amelia, the snoop, at least wait till we see her. She may be a dandy teacher. There's the bell. We'll find out soon enough. First thing I noticed was she was grim. And the way she dressed, weird. But then she turned to clean the blackboard. And the way she did it, one swipe, and the blackboard was clean. Honest, the whole blackboard. I got a note about it. Here, scientific note number one about Miss Switch. Cleans blackboard with one white. Spooky. And here, how about this note? Her eyes crackle, and she can see without turning around. Like the time when I observed Bill Swanson prepare to launch a spitball. It headed straight for Miss Switch's back. Then it stopped like it hit a force field and fell to her desk. But then, I could hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> hey, somebody hit me with a spitball. You are absolutely right. I did. Unbelievable, huh? But I saw it. But on the other hand, well, she does strange stuff. Sure. But like Amelia said, I gotta admit, she's a dandy teacher. Like this, for instance. One day, we had to stand up and tell our middle names. I hate my middle name. So when that creep, Rudy Lopez, sat down, and it was my turn, uh, Brown, Rupert, uh, uh no middle name. He does too have a middle name. It's Peevely. <laughs> How about that? Peevely. I don't like tattletales. You will write, my name is Rudy Tattletail Lopez a hundred times starting now. Just like that. I don't like tattletales. That's the best kind of teacher there is. All the kids really started to like her. Even Banana and Peep Mouse. Because she's fair. She treats everybody the same. But back to my scientific deductions. All the spooky stuff. Let me give you one more. Scientific note number eight. Conrad the bully at the water fountain. Go oh, one side, I'm thirsty. You know what she did this time with her crackling eyes? Turn it off, somebody! Help! Yeah. All of a sudden, the water gushes all over him and he can't move until Miss Switch lets him. Remote control, right? But how? How does she do all that strange stuff? There's got to be a scientific explanation. But what is it? Hey, what's happening to my notebook? Miss Switch is a witch? Can't be. There are no witches. It's not scientific. Only all that stuff in the classroom. That's what I gotta do. Check that classroom to see what I can find. Right now, while it's empty. Old Owl. Nothing to be scared of. Wide open and empty like I figured. Okay, Rupert Peasley Brown, you wanted to investigate. Now, Rupert? I might have known. Snooping again, huh? I didn't mean to. Honest. 
I woke up and saw you going by. So you had to follow me. Well, I just wondered, what's happening in our room? Miss Switch, she is a witch. Come in. I've been expecting you. <gasps> I'm glad you said please. Good manners are important. Down you come. Wow! Is that all you can say? Miss Switch. You needn't raise your hand, Amelia. We're not in class now. Well, what I wanted to know is... Is whether I was expecting you as well as Rupert? The answer is no. You must have intercepted my thought way. Oh, then I... I better leave. On the contrary, stay. Anybody who can pick up a witch's thoughts may have the making of a witch herself. Oh, great. It's not bad enough. <coughs> bad? Rupert, were you about to suggest that witches are all bad? Well, they... they gotta be. I hate to be unfair to such a fair teacher, but if you are a witch... Rupert, let me clear up your confusion. There are indeed witches, and I am a good one, unlike the head witch, Saturna. If you want a perfect example of a bad witch... Did someone mention my name? <laughs> Saturna, she mustn't see you. <laughs> well, talking to yourself these days, eh, Miss Switch? No such thing, Saturna. I'm talking to, uh, to Bathsheba. Telling her you're ready to take your punishment, I presume. Not yet. You know I'm on probation, that's why I'm still teaching. <laughs> yes, but only for another 24 hours. Then off you go to the dead forest. <laughs> It sounds awful! Once you're banished there, you're doomed. You never return. That's why I sent for you, Rupert. Only you can save me. You mean from Saturna? More than Saturna. From the Computer Witch. Computer what? Computer Witch. A computer for witches, a dreadful thing. You see... Psst. Careful! She'll hear you! Thanks for reminding me, Bathsheba. Saturna used the flame to tune in on me. Can't have it happen again. Besides, it's quite late. I'll walk you part way home and tell you the rest. When Saturna became head witch, she convinced the council that witches had to be up to date. The computer witch was brought in to test us. I was the first one tested. And that miserable machine said my witchcraft ideas were old fashioned, out of date. I failed, of course. What do you mean, of course? What about the others? How did they do? Saturna didn't have to test them. Only me. You see, I was the only one to stand up to Saturna. By making an example of me, she has all the rest afraid of her. She and her computer witch are all powerful. She doesn't even like cats. That's why I need your help, Rupert. You're scientific. Like the computer witch. Yeah, I'm scientific. Well, that's what I need. A scientific witchcraft idea. New, original, up to date. And the deadline is midnight tomorrow. That's your special assignment, Rupert. Otherwise, goodbye school. Hello, dead forest. Amelia, maybe we shouldn't get involved. What do you mean? I mean, can we trust her? After all, she's a witch. And she's a good witch, just like she's a good teacher. Don't you know the difference between that awful Saturna and her? You're scared, that's what. I, uh, I'm thinking of you. What might happen to you? Think of what might happen to Miss Switch. And think fast, Rupert Brown. There isn't much time. Maybe I can think about it. No harm in thinking. <laughs> Oh, 
Looper, wake up! You Let's can't sleep, sleep now! Looper! <laughs> Don't just stand there with your jaw hanging open. Can't you speak? I can, but since when did you start? Since always. You just never heard us before. It's that witch you saw. When you make a pact with a witch... All kinds of strange things happen. Yeah. You know about her? You have a habit of talking out loud, good buddy. We know about everything. You still don't have it, do you? The witchcraft idea? No, not yet. That's why we woke you up. Maybe we can help. Yeah, like brainstorming, you know? Everybody giving out with ideas! Like turn weather into chocolate malts. Oh, oh, yummy! Or how about birds? Make them loop the loop upside down. Hey, I got it. She could make me bigger than the heavyweight champ and tougher, too. What of you? No, no. It's nice of you, but it's no use. You're giving up? Caruso, I try. Look at all the crumpled paper. But even my fertile scientific brain has a limit. It's got to be wild. Far out. Like, like, like us beating Dinwiddie. That'd be a real miracle. We never won. We... Hey, I got it. A way for Pepperdine to beat Dinwiddie? You bet. Wait till I show it to Miss Switch tomorrow. It's the best witchcraft stunt of all. What is it, Rupert? You should be in your seat. It's that special assignment, Miss Switch. You know. Oh, yes, thank you. I shall read it later, after class. But it's... The bell has rung, Rupert. I am now a teacher, not a you-know-what. I will see you and Amelia after class. Yes, Miss Switch. And please, do not slouch. Posture, posture. Straighten your shoulders. <clears throat> Attention, children. Our first subject is... Hmm, I see. Cast a spell so that the Pepperdine quarterback disappears. Right! Every time he gets the football. And that's it? No. Then he reappears behind the goal line for a touchdown. Six points every time, Miss Switch. Not counting the points after touchdown. Better not count those. We don't have a good kicker. Yes, that does sound like a truly original witchcraft idea. Just one thing, Rupert. Would it be cheating? Cheating? Against the rules. Uh, what are the football rules dealing with witchcraft? There aren't any. Then it's all right. I can't break a rule that doesn't exist, can I? Who is the Pepperdine quarterback? He's Banana. I mean, Harvey Fan and Miss Switch. There, the one wearing number 15. I shall simply bewitch the number 15. As a special favor, you may both be present at the bewitching ceremony tonight. You'll find it very interesting. I use my witch's cauldron. Mm -hmm. We can meet just before the game. There's a glade of trees on a hill overlooking the football field. a new witchcraft idea. What is it? I see. Very clever. But her idea will never get to the computer witch. Because I, Saturna, will stop her now! The cauldron's bubbling. Here, Amelia, hold these. What are they? The ingredients for my witch's brew. Black for bat's wing, red is the eye of the newt, and the brown bag holds toadstool dust. Yuck! When I call for them, hand them to me. Rupert, that number is 15, correct? Yeah, number 15. Not yeah, Rupert. Yes is proper. 
All right, everyone stand back. Stand back. Mind your business, Cat. I'll handle this. Toadstool. Batwing. of Newt. Back, further back. Let it happen now and here. Number 15 will disappear. Catch the other team all napping. 15, 15, it will happen. Touch the ball, you're seen no more. Until you turn up with a score. Is that it, Miss Switch? Oh. I certainly hope so. The game's about to start. We better hurry. I can't go this way. Come along, Bathsheba. You bet. I've never seen football before, but I'm sure I'll find it enjoyable. <laughs> enjoyable, eh? Not this game, Miss Switch. Number 15 shall disappear, she said. Very well. But what will happen to her plan if the other team has a number 15 too? kicks off and back to receive it's the Pepperdine quarterback number 15 he caught the ball and he's off uh, hard to see where uh, hey there he is he scored a touchdown I had no idea he was so fast you did it miss switch Pepperdine misses the point after the score is Pepperdine six Dinwiddie zero here is Dinwiddie with the first scrimmage play of the game. Let's see what they can do. Oh, no. What is it, Rupert? Their quarterback. He's number 15, too. 94, 82, 41, height. He's got the snap. He steps back with the ball. No, he doesn't. He, it's the hidden ball trick. Huh? Or maybe the hidden quarterback. Well, what do you know? No! Here he is. It's a touchdown for Dinwiddie. Amazing. Can't you do something, Miss Switch? I'm afraid I used up all my ingredients. Oh, boy. It's going to be a long evening. Didn't Woody miss the point after? The score is 6-6. Six to six. Both teams have very quick quarterbacks. This may be a high-scoring game. Folks, the game is almost over. And Pepperdine leads 96-90. We're ahead! Yeah, but it's Dinwiddie's ball. Barely time for one more play. Yep, there it is. Dinwiddie scores just as the gun goes off. But don't go away, folks. Dinwiddie will try for the extra point. Do they allow that? When a game's over, it should be over. It's in the rule book, Miss Switch. Don't worry, he'll miss it. 35, 24, 26. way off. At least we'll get a tie. It's good. The kick is good. Oh, no. Dinwiddie wins the game by one point. 97 to 96. It's over. We might as well go. Come along. All right, that's enough, children. Straighten up. Bathsheba, pick up your tail. But we lost, Miss Switch. Thanks to Saturna. Saturna? What did she have to do with it? Rupert, that football didn't go over the crossbar all by itself. That was Saturna? That's not all. I noticed in the program the Dinwiddie quarterback's number was listed as 12. You mean she changed it? I certainly didn't. It's all my fault. I asked you to do an unfair thing. I'm sorry. No use crying over spilt milk. I failed. I must go back to Witch Mountain and take my punishment. Ben!
vanished forever? We would never see you again? There must be something you can do. My dear, I have no choice. I have nothing else to present to the computer witch. Miss Switch, maybe you don't, but I do. Only one thing. You have to take Amelia and me along with you. Impossible. It's the best witchcraft idea ever. But only Amelia and I can tell it. You gotta take us to the computer witch. You gotta. <laughs> so they're coming here, are they? Good. Let them. They shall never return. Never. <laughs> Rupert, why can't I present this new witchcraft idea to the computer witch myself? Because it won't believe you. What is this fabulous idea? What is it I have to do? Nothing. You already did it. Did what? Amelia, what is he talking about? I don't know either, Miss Switch. Rupert, this isn't just a ruse for you to get a look at the computer witch, is it? Honest, science has nothing to do with... Nine o'clock already? You only have three hours left. Taking you to Witch Mountain is dangerous. You might be risking your lives. We'll have you to protect us. Well, if you insist, go home. Wait at your bedroom windows. I'll pick you up on my broomstick. Here they come. Good luck. I'll need it. I never rode a broomstick before. Come along, Rupert. Time to fly. Hang on. Here we go. Is it far to Witch Mountain? Far enough. <laughs> so they're coming here, are they? Come faster. Here at Witch Mountain, we're waiting for you. <laughs> Are we near it yet? We're getting there. Meow. Watch the moon. The moon will tell us when. Hey, what's happening? All of a sudden, it's cold and misty. Meow. I told you, watch the moon. It looks so different, like ice. The switch, what does it mean? It means we're getting close. When the moon turns pale and cold, and begins to look like, ah, oh, see it now? It looks like, like a, oh boy! Exactly, Rupert. Scientifically speaking, a skull. D does it always do that? Curiously enough, it does. First the change in the moon, and right after, our first view of Witch Mountain. There it is. Well, still coming, eh? Soon they will reach the dead forest. Make sure all of you are there to welcome them. Go! Give them a warm welcome. One that they will never forget. <laughs> the dead forest. Wow! Miss Witch, can't we go a little faster? I don't dare. We might hit a tree and end up down there. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've made it through the dead forest hundreds of times. Oh. Stop a second, Miss Witch. What is it, Bathsheba? I thought I saw birds. There are no birds here. I know. That's what bothers me. Oh, hello. That turn is fast. We have a chance. There's the pass that leads out of the dead forest. If we beat them to it, we're safe. Hang on!
make out is this... This red paper. Allow me to thin it out for you. I might have known the witch's council chamber. The children and Sheba, are they here? No! And they won't be. Rupert, Amelia, come in. <laughs> no use. You can't make contact. All your witchly powers have been temporarily taken away from you. <laughs> I should have known. The vapor. Yes, but it is harmless. And now, you will sleep. I can't sleep. I... The children are... <laughs> Rest. You will need it. In a few moments, you will face the computer with me. By yourself. Without the help of those meddling children. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get out and find Miss Switch. You gotta reach it. I can't. Lift me higher. No way. My knees are shaking already. Try, Ruth. I am. I... Watch out! Ah! There must be some way to get out. They didn't find one. <gasps> they gave up. We can't. We have to save Miss Switch. I know what. Instead of trying to push Bathsheba to the pail, why don't we throw her? Who? Me? Come on, Bathsheba. You have nine lives. We don't. Well, well, if you put it that way. One, two, three, go! Cross your fingers that the rope has a knot in it. Way to go. We'll find Miss Switch in no time. You sure we're going the right way, Bathsheba? I am a cat. Cats don't get lost. Out of the way, lizard! Can't be far now. Yeah, looks familiar. Here we are, Miss Witch. She's not here. She's gone. Are you sure? This is the place? Positive. There's the broomstick. Or what's left of it. We gotta find her. It must be time for the computer witch. Yeah, without us, she won't stand a chance. But where is she? Only one answer. The bats must have carried her off to the witch's council. We have to get there. Yeah, and fast. But how? Wow! The broomstick! Broomstick, pay attention! Fly! No use. It's too broken up. Maybe if we tied the pieces together with those vines. Good idea. Come on. Pull! Miss Switch needs us. Pull! Wow! Oh. Oh. Miss Switch, it's midnight. The witching hour. The witch's council has gathered. <laughs> it is time for the computer witch. This is your last chance. Defend yourself. The witch is 
is ready to record your evidence. If you have any, go ahead, Miss Switch. How can I? Rupert, Amelia, Bathsheba. I'm so worried about them. I can't. I can't speak. Speak! Speak! Council orders you! Speak! Tight, good and tight. Remember what happened when the bats broke it? It stopped flying! Hurry, or we'll be too late to save Miss Switch! That's it! to Miss Switch, fast! <laughs> this mist! I can't see a thing! Don't worry, the broomstick knows where it's going, I hope. What's that? A giant spider web! Watch out! <laughs> Broomstick, I hate to mention it, but the trees, they seem to be closing in. What happened? The vine got snagged. It broke. They're slowing down. The front piece, it's falling. I got it. Boy, just in time. The broomstick's coming apart again. <laughs> wow, it's dark in here. Shh. Saturner may have guards posted. We gotta get past them. How? They'll see us. How about a disguise? Witch's clothes. Where'd they come from? I know where they keep everything. Quick, put them on. Keep going. We're almost past them. You refuse to defend yourself, Miss Switch. The computer witch will deliver the verdict. Wait! We're witnesses for Miss Switch. It is too late for witnesses. Just a moment, Saturna. I am ready for the verdict on one condition. Condition? Send the children safely home, and my cat with them, and I will gladly be banished to the dead forest forever. No! You can't. No way. Listen, Mr. Computer Witch. My name is Rupert Peevely Brown. Amelia Daly and I are here to present the facts. Miss Switch is not old-fashioned and out of date. Her witchcraft is the way she teaches, and it's the most original witchcraft ever. Teacher? Teacher? Witchcraft? Roop's right. She's fair. She treats all of us the same. I told you it is too late. No, let me speak. Speak. You heard the council. Go ahead, Rupert. Well, would you believe that just last week us guys, a uh, boys, voted unanimously that if we had to have someone for a mother besides our own, it would be Miss Switch. And Bill Swanson, you know, the one who did the spitball thing, 
Now he brings flowers to Miss Switch. Right, Amelia? Right. And another fact, Mr. Computer Witch, practically every other one has a teacher's pet. Not Miss Switch. She never. The, the thing is, she, she makes learning fun. Everybody wants to go to school, even Roof and his friends. That's the best witchcraft. No one else could have changed us kids around. And if that's not original, I'd like to know what is. You can't banish her, right? First to know, I'm going back to Witch Mountain. You will have a new teacher tomorrow. Going back? You can't! I must. Saturna has been banished. The council has made me head witch. After all that happened, it's not fair! Fiddlesticks, Amelia. We made no bargain that I would stay. But, Rupert, a witch is a witch is a witch. I thank you for your help but I must return to that side of my nature. But you're such a good teacher. We'll never get another one as good as you. No way! Probably not. Good teachers like me are hard to find. But remember, even more important than a good teacher is a good student. Get involved. Be curious. Let your imagination soar. The best teacher in the world can't help unless you want to learn. Will we ever see you again? Perhaps some night you may look up and see a small cloud drift across the moon. Will that be you? I said perhaps. That means, who knows? She's gone! Yep, that's Miss Switch. 